Hi, my name is Hermes Smith, and I'm a Disciple Making Movements coach with City Team here in San Jose, California. I'm with pastor, author, movement uh, catalyst, Roy Moran. As you, as you look at, you wrap your arms around an area, many times um, you can't do this yourself. So obviously you can start praying, you can start to get to know your area. You're in a role at a church and um, you may be over evangelism or, or small groups or so forth. And you want to get people more focused on accomplishing the Great Commission. Uh, you talk about this concept of learning a new language. Um, can you talk a little bit more about that? And as people learn this new language, what are some of the rhythms of coaching and learning and that combination that's really necessary to, to learn this new language? Well, I think about this whole concept of, of creating disciple, making disciples, um, and making this mind shift. I made a mind shift from being a maker of disciples to a maker of disciple making disciples. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds like a tricky little play on words or something, but really it's radical in nature. Um, and it, it's a lot like if I showed up on Sunday morning, uh, I happen to you know, be in suburban Kansas City um, and a almost completely, you know, um, Anglo or at least English speaking church, let's say. Mm -hmm. And if I showed up on Sunday morning and I said, look, folks, um, uh, next from next Sunday on, we're going to do everything in Spanish. And so uh, I, this we're going to spend uh, the next year learning Spanish so we can do everything in Spanish. And, you know, when you think about that and you think about what would happen, I mean, Really, what would happen if you did that? And uh, the the amount of anxiety and uh, pushback and uh, you know, questioning, you know, why and and people who would leave and all that kind of stuff would happen. Well, when we're moving, you know, from this old concept of of the way we've done church, where it's very place based, it's very focused on professionals, it's very come oriented. Uh, I'm very passive when I come, and things are done to me, uh, and and my whole judgment of whether. Um, it's good or not is based on what I experience. It's, it's what I get, not what I give. All those things are happening. And I'm saying, okay, uh, we want to, to get in to the momentum of the Great Commission, which Jesus says, as you go. So it's like, okay, I'm going. And, you know, make disciples, and so everything's going to be outside. It's going to be where I live rather than 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 where I you know come to church. In that sense, uh, it's like learning a language, and and so the rhythms of helping people make that mind shift, you know, from disciple making to making of disciple making disciples, mm. is the same as it would take to learn a language. You know, in terms of you've got to learn, you know, you've got to learn vocabulary, you've got to learn a uh, sentence structure, uh, you've got to learn, um, you know, the verbs and the tenses and the moods and and how to use them in certain places. You, you know, all of that stuff it takes to learn a language. And, and anybody that's learned a language well knows that, that, you know, you can live in a culture if you're not from that culture and you can live there 5, 10, 15 years and you still don't quite get it. But you are continuing to learn these little nuances of the language because, you know, you have, you know, exposed yourself to that. Same thing's true, you know, when we get into this whole concept of multiplicative disciple making when I'm going to make disciples who make disciples you know and I have to use a simple repeatable process I have to learn to to be a to be catalytic mm -hmm. so I need to learn to back away mm -hmm. M more power as a leader uh, the less effective I'm going to be that's totally opposite of anything I've ever been trained right you know, I need to be a great speaker. I need to be, you know, powerful, and you know, I need to have a bearing in people, and you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, it's almost like the 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 less confident I am, the more successful I am on the new side. The more confident, the more successful I am on the old side. So I've got to figure out how do I become less confident, you know, and and, and yet more effective. Yeah. You know, and it's just the kind of things that yeah. twist your mind. So it's like that learning a language. You know, when I'm. Um, you know, if I'm trying to learn, uh, you know, Spanish and I need to learn to roll my R's and my English tongue has never rolled an R in my life, you know, and I'm blah, 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 <laughs> and, and that, that I just feel just useless, you know, in a yeah. sense, trying to get it done. But 
if you stay after it long enough, yep. you know, you train yourself, it, it comes and, and you get it. So I, I think a lot of times, you know, people like myself, when you're in positions of power in a uh, an existing church structure, you uh, overestimate your influence. Right. You overestimate the influence of of the strength of promoting something from the front, and uh, you you find that you know you get you might get initial buy in, but you just don't get follow through. Yeah. And so you had you know hundred people sign up, and then you know at the end there's three people there, and you're not even sure they're the three people you wanted. You know, that kind of stuff. So you have to understand that this takes a rhythm. You know, and, and you have to work with the people who will commit the time for the rhythm. Mm. And uh, a few people's fine. Yeah. You know? And it just takes time. I think a lot of times people want success. They want it quick. And they don't really realize, man, it's, it's this is a long-term thing. This is a lifestyle. And uh, like you say, learning that new language, it's going to take time. Mm -hmm. And, and if, you, if you spend, you know, a half an hour once a week, it's probably not going to get the job done. Mm -hmm. You know, there's that constant... That constant uh, growing and, and and focus on that. So, mm -hmm. utilizing different opportunities to to kind of get people together, and also getting getting people to realign and continue to to practice that language is really mm -hmm. critical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good yeah. stuff.